Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no hassle quote and second opinion. So give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. This is your uh, Weather Extreme video for Sunday, May the 13th, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. And uh, we've got a lot to talk about as it's going to become a bit wet, soggy, and somewhat unsettled. Satellite image this morning, our view from space showing uh, clear skies over much of the southeastern U.S. with the exception of the Florida Peninsula. And that's where an upper level low just off the southwest coast of Florida is beginning to develop. On our surface map, we have generally high pressure over the southeastern U.S., which is keeping us in just absolutely glorious, warm, and dry weather. In the upper atmosphere, we have uh, a ridge basically aligned along and just to the west of the Mississippi River, but you can see the kind of unsettled uh, area uh, over the southern part of the Florida Peninsula. Wind is light this morning and calm. You can see all those uh, plain circles there. And the temperatures generally in central Alabama uh, at uh, 60 or slightly above in the lower 60s. Watch warning map is relatively clear this morning. We have a few dense fog advisories over parts of the Carolinas and Georgia and uh, eastern Tennessee. And then you see uh, high fire danger out over parts of Arizona, New Mexico, and uh, west Texas. I think the big story right now is uh, rain that's headed our way, and of course uh, it's uh, going to be welcome. We haven't had rain at my house. Uh, today will be the 17th dry day, uh, but we're looking at uh, rainfall amounts. Uh, as we look a little bit closer there, you can see rainfall amounts uh, basically around three-quarters of an inch along the western counties and uh, basically between about one and a half to two inches along the eastern uh, counties. Storm Prediction Center has a couple of slight risk areas, uh, one in the vicinity of Chicago and one out over uh, western Oklahoma. Uh, I know they don't need to have storms, but uh, I know that uh, western Oklahoma is still quite dry, so uh, they can use the rain. Day two, we see a slight risk over parts of uh, eastern Kansas, uh, northern uh, Missouri, and the southern Iowa. Day three, we have just marginal risks over uh, parts of Pennsylvania, uh, West Virginia and Northern Virginia, and then out over Oklahoma and uh, um, I, what I'd kind of call Northwest Texas. All right, the 06 GFS model run, and there's a high pressure system, and you can see all the, the uh, weather over the uh, southwestern part of, uh, or just off the southwest coast of Florida and over the southern part of the Florida Peninsula. In the upper atmosphere, we can see the closed low. Uh, it's broad, it's not a real tight closed low, but we see the closed low basically. Uh, off the coast between Tampa and Fort Myers. We go out to Monday and uh, we see that closed low has drifted a little further north, now kind of centered over the northeast uh, gulf. And that will bring rain up into uh, north Florida, but I think we stay dry and stay warm on Monday. When uh, Tuesday, the uh, uh, low drifts a little further to the west uh, at a position kind of uh, to the southwest of Apalachicola. And that will spread uh, a good deal of rain over a good portion of the uh, eastern two-thirds of the southeastern United States, and of course, including the Florida, uh, Pan uh, uh, the Florida Peninsula. The closed low is still visible there just to the uh, southeast of Mobile on Wednesday, uh, but it's beginning to... Um, evolve into an open trough, and uh, that once again keeps things a bit unsettled. I think what's going to happen is with the presence of that uh, upper trough and the closed low, we're going to see showers basically occurring just about any time of the day, but the peak is going to come from very late morning into the uh, very late afternoon as uh, afternoon heating aids the development of showers, and we're not expecting anything in the way of severe weather. We see the uh, little trough off uh, over the central U.S. Uh, kind of phasing up with our little uh, trough the, that was a closed load just to the southeast of Mobile on uh, Thursday. And uh, once again, that's going to be a bit unsettled over a good portion of the southeastern United States. Again, it's going to be showers, so we can't uh, tell you exactly where they're going to occur. Friday, the uh, upper trough uh, is basically stuck. 
uh, just to the east of the Mississippi River, and it stays that way into Saturday. It's still there uh, over the Alabama-Mississippi area, and that will just keep things pretty much uh, unsettled. We get out to the very end of the period Sunday, and yep, it's still there. It's kind of stuck in place. It's not moving off much. So even uh, through the end of next weekend, it looks like we stay uh, fairly wet. By that time, we may need to be worrying about uh, flash flood issues, but uh, let's hold off on that until we have a better idea of the total rainfall amounts. Now, we're going to go out into voodoo country, and uh, we'll start out with uh, the 22nd of uh, May, and the GFS still pretty bullish on developing something over the Western Caribbean. Now, let's step back just a second and take a look at uh, the... Uh, uh, surface pattern being forecast uh, at 240 hours. This is 10 days out on the latest GFS. And it has a nice tropical system uh, basically off the uh, southwest coast of Cuba. But if you look closely down there, they're not in the same position. The GFS is a little bit slower uh, with its uh, position. But you notice it does have some uh, fairly significant uh, convection going on in the Western Caribbean. So that's a little disturbing. Uh, because that certainly may lead some credence to the possibility that we will see something in the way uh, of a tropical system develop. But again, this is voodoo country. And you remember yesterday, it actually went up across Cuba and the Florida Straits and the Bahamas and then stayed along the East Coast. Today, though, we get out to the 24th of May, Thursday. It's uh, right there between Cuba and the Yucatan Peninsula. And then on Saturday, the 26th, it's off the southwest coast of Florida. And then, lo and behold, by the 28th, it says it's over southeast Alabama. Now, are we forecasting a tropical system? Nope. This is just kind of fun speculation. GFS does this fairly often, and we'll always look at it and just kind of chuckle a little bit. I'm uh, meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. James Spann should be back with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime... Have a great Mother's Day. Godspeed. Summer's just around the corner, and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.